More now on campaign 2020. The state division of elections says more than 2 million Floridians have already returned their mail-in ballots. Across the country, up to 80 million people could vote by mail in this election. And after recent claims from the president, CBS4's Natalie Brand looked into just how secure your ballot will be. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. It's a claim the president often talks about and tweets about. They're sending millions of ballots all over the country. There's fraud. But election experts say the facts just don't back it up. Preposterous. Uh, the country has been voting by mail since the Civil War. Every state in the country allows people to vote by mail. Mirna Perez serves as the director of the Brennan Center's Voting Rights and Elections Program. The nonpartisan organization at New York University has conducted research on this topic and says voter fraud is very rare. Because it's irrational, right? There's lots of penalties um, for casting another ballot. Washington state has been voting almost entirely by mail since 2011. I can even usually convince the most staunch critic that the system is secure. Secretary of State Kim Wyman, a Republican, says transparency is key. Local election officials need to share with their local communities what they're doing to protect the ballots uh, that they are in charge of. And I think when people see that, they have more confidence in their local officials, and hopefully that translates out to uh, all election officials. Washington is one of five all-male election states. More than two dozen other states expanded their absentee voting options due to the coronavirus pandemic. Is there anything that you're worried about, given how many states have had to quickly adapt and expand their vote-by-mail efforts? I think we're going to find some bumps on the road on Election Day. Many, many states um, don't have the infrastructure to handle this kind of volume that they're going to be expecting. Perez advises local governments to have extra workers on hand to help process the influx of ballots, and she urges voters to get them in early. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.